in terms of, of working stones like these, how would, say, working with lapis differ from working with, um, with rock crystal or garnet? I mean, I would assume that a lot of it has to do with the crystalline structure exactly. and not hitting the wrong thing at the wrong time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think hit, hitting, I think you're using kind of um, figuratively because yeah. you're not hitting the way marble you're hitting with a hammer and chisel right. and you're cutting, even something like porphyry, you're hitting and you're chipping away. Uh, In this these, case more, it's sort of drilling away. Or, it's or drilling or even grinding. Grinding, you're, you're, right. You're grinding, you're using abrasives and it's, it, although you have tools and cutting tools, the tools are carrying an abrasive, which is emery, which is quartz, it, it's basically sand mm -hmm. that, that you're, you're, you're grinding away, you're abrading the stone. And so it has to do with the structure of the material. And lapis lazuli has a, a less fine structure. I mean, people talk about, again, a mineralogist yeah. would probably object to set, talking about the grain of a stone. But, but, but it, it, it's a coarser stone, it holds detail less well. Um, that's why it tends to be used in antiquity more decoratively than used for carving. Right. And taglios and cameos of lapis exist, but far more common is, is cornelian um, and, and even something amethyst, chalcedony, even rock crystal, right. which are um, they're, they're finer stones. They hold detail more. You can cut them more sharply. Um, and so they tend to be used more for carving. Garnet is harder. I think most of the gemstones, your amethyst, your rock crystal, your chalcedonies, your jaspers, they're somewhere around seven on the most scale. Okay. And, and garnet, I believe, is eight, sapphire is nine, and diamond is 10. And that's a relative scale, right. not an absolute scale. Diamond is, is much, much more is much, much harder than the other stones. It's not just one notch above them. Right. But, um, and, and lapis, I think, is a little softer, but it's more that it's grainy. It also, also has a lot of inclusions. Right. It has gold specks, and that makes it harder to carve. The gold is soft, and it, 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 it's coarser. And then each of these stones often has within it, especially if it's a banded stone, will have sort of different patches of, of hardness through it. I guess it's if you have a kind of salami. Yeah. It's got, you know, the meat bits and the fat bits. If you're really paying attention, you could cut more easily or not through different parts of the salami if you didn't have a sharp knife. So something that is, you know, seems to be a pure rock crystal or a pure amethyst is going to, you can work it in a more uniform way uh, abandoned agate might have crystalline places and there are a number of ancient agate works that seem to have cavities that have been removed. They haven't been filled but they're pitted where it seems that the ancient craftsman has removed the more sugary larger crystalline parts because mm. they'll, they'll, they'll fracture and fray and get to the finer parts that are in a sense, smoother and, right, and, and, right. and take a polish better. And that gives us a good sense looking backwards. It's often hard with these works that are so highly finished to find the traces of craftsmanship. That's right. where a really good microscope helps uh, and also perhaps less highly skilled workmanship will leave um, more traces right, of craft right. than something that's really so you been hope polished to find all the way the, through. The journeyman or apprentice yeah. level work, right. for example. Or the back side of something. Yeah. Or the underside yeah. of something that would have been attached to the mount. And you can often see the traces of different tools there, the different cutting tools, the wheels, the cones, the balls, the drills, mm -hmm. the hollow drills that leave distinctive kinds of cuts in the stone. Okay. But when they're being polished, those working traces often get erased.